Good afternoon. This is Functional Horsemanship. I wanted to show you another obstacle I built to train and sack your horses out, make them safe for trail horses. Uh, this obstacle right here is cal called a rope curtain uh, or a cowboy curtain. Uh, you can do much the same thing over a bow gate by dropping ropes, tying ropes up, or hanging yellow caution tape or whatnot. Uh, it's a scary object for the horse first time they see it. Um, you got to make sure you keep the horse straight going through there and, and let him go at his own leisure. If you notice, the ropes on my cowboy curtain are, are they're, uh, they're cut before they hit the ground. You don't want them too long where a horse can step on it and, and pull your obstacle down or otherwise uh, spook him. So I got them cut uh, well before they hit the ground. And I'm using uh, uh, 3 8 inch uh, manila rope right there. You could use practically anything. I've seen them a lot thicker. And I got this idea from Craig Cameron's Extreme Cowboy Races where he has a whole bunch of obstacles uh, cowboys and their, must move their horses through. And this is problematic for some horses, so I thought I'd build one and, uh, so I can sack my trail horses out on it. And as you're approaching something like this, you look at the horse. You know, you're going to be able to tell from him if he has a problem with it. You see his ears going forward. Uh, if he wants to smell it, move his head forward. I like it when they move their head down. In fact, giving them, giving them a head down cue is a good idea because it, it takes it breaks the uh, their anxiety level a little bit and uh, focuses them uh, back on what you want them to do. Now, if he didn't want to approach this obstacle, I'm not going to move him forward until I can tell he's ready. I am going to keep him straight with leg pressure, so if he's getting off to one side or the other, I'll move him over. I'm not going to go forward until until he's ready. And uh, if he wants to move sideways, I'm just going to keep him straight again, not move him forward again until he's ready. So he appears ready. I'm just going to cue him forward. He's going to put his head through. We're going to move on right through. Going back the opposite way. Same thing. I'm going to approach the obstacle. It may look different to him this time. He's going through it from a different way. But I'm going to again keep, keep straight. And then when he's, when he's ready, I'm just moving right through the obstacle. Try to go through the center of it. You don't have to build one with 4x4s and drill holes for the rope knotted at the top. Again, you can put one through a bow gate, hang some rope or string, uh, or even a yellow caution tape through it. I like rope because it hangs straighter and it doesn't blow around in the wind so much. But again, another obstacle you can use to sack your trail horses out and make them a little safer. Functional horsemanship.